mighty wall surrounds the Medina, the old part of the Tunisian city of Sous. These fortifications and defensive constructions date back to the 9th century. They were built by the Aglabides, who were strongly influenced by Islam. The history of this strategic port and city that has witnessed many battles and acts of war goes back almost 3,000 years. A remarkable gate can be found at the northern edge of the Medina. It is the entrance to the Ribat, an impressive fortress that was built by the Aglabides in the 10th century. This military building was very similar to a monastery. Islamic interests dominated the actions of Ribat's warrior monks. These elite troops lived a sober and isolated life from those around them. The strict discipline of the monks is reflected in the plain architecture of the building. Monasteries such as the Ribat of Sous were scattered across the Tunisian coastline. These buildings mainly served as the country's defences, but were also the nerve centre of many battles and were used to educate and train new troops. Apart from its military function, the Ribats also offered shelter to pilgrims. The Medina was influenced by the magnificent architecture of the Aglabides. Originally founded as the Phoenician trading post Hadronet around 900 BC, the city of Sous was in the past the scene of bloody wars and changes of leadership. At the beginning of Islamic rule, even the fortress-like Great Mosque played an important part in the defence of the city. The mosque was built in 851 and was subject to various architectural changes. The Great Mosque does not have a traditional minaret. Instead, it contains two circular watchtowers that are located at the north and southeast corners of the surrounding wall. Covered with battlements, the prayer hall is open only to followers of Islam. The history of Sous has been influenced by many different countries and cultures. Carthaginian, Roman and even Byzantine influences can be found in the city.
Its convenient location, coastline and fertile countryside, created a prosperous trading and commercial centre, making Sousse the main metropolis of the Sahel. Stretching out onto the highest point of the Medina, the impressive fortress the Kaspar comes into view. Built on the foundations of a Byzantine castle, today it contains an important museum. Nearly all of the country's historical and cultural epochs and art forms are exhibited in this museum, which also contains a valuable collection of archaeological finds. Magnificent mosaics that date from the 2nd and 3rd centuries, as well as early Christian inscriptions, have been discovered in Sousse. And further impressive discoveries are located beyond the Kasbah's solid walls. The museum's inner courtyard contains several wonderful old gravestones, reliefs and sculptures that blend beautifully with the tranquility of the surrounding garden. Around this courtyard, Various rooms contain very well-preserved floor mosaics with astonishing portrayals and patterns that are mostly of Roman origin. The mighty Kasbah was built during the construction of the city wall in 859. The 30 meter tall Kalef Tower has become a symbol of the city. Only these huge walls, the main entrance and the Kasbah's tower, have remained intact. Thanks to its special location, Sousse, the Pearl of the Sahel, has always attracted foreign visitors. Today, the old part of the town fascinates tourists from all over the world with its rich variety of atmospheric, historical impressions. Thankfully, and despite its warlike past, the Medina of Sousse has been able to preserve most of its original, fascinating character.